Nalt. Media party collusion, Nalt, a help their favorite candidate. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. This is a story we've been telling you about for some time. The other English language broadcasters in this country deciding to get together and stop one political party in particular from using their news footage in political ads. I'm talking about uh, the Conservative Party being blocked by CBC specifically. This all started when the state broadcaster, the publicly funded broadcaster, decided to invite other broadcasters together through their news departments to say, let's stop these parties from using political ads. And it all started because they got upset that Justin Trudeau was being made fun of in, in an ad that contained news footage. There is no question that this happened because there is someone who feels completely excluded. How can you make excuses for terrorists and keep Canadians safe? Justin Trudeau, he's in way over his head. Well, CBC's Jennifer McGuire said, if the broadcasters stand together, they can stop this, even though her own legal department and those of other broadcasters had informed them that this was not allowable. It wasn't supported by policies. It wasn't supported by law. Well, now we've got more proof of this. Uh, access to information request on page 582 shows an email in the middle of the controversy last October from Stephen Guiton. He's the chief regulatory officer at CBC, sent to Jennifer McGuire. And I want to read to you from it because it's quite clear. Guiton tells McGuire, under the existing policies, the mere existence of broadcaster material is not grounds for rejection of an advertisement. Therefore, our advertising standards policies cannot be used to support a blanket prohibition of all political ads that contain broadcast material. He goes on, though. In addition, during an election period, we are required by law to air a prescribed number of political advertisements, whether or not they contain broadcasting material. So not only do our advertising standards policies not support a prohibition, but moreover, the policies could not be used to reject legally prescribed political ads containing broadcaster material. Now, what do CBC's policies actually say? Well, Guiton included those in the email to McGuire. And here's what it says on page 585 of the release that we have. Ads containing CBC footage, quote, can only be rejected if the footage used within the ad may imply or give the appearance of an endorsement on the part of CBC or raise doubts as to its neutrality. And that's policy 1.3.10 on political advertising. And what about CBC airing ads containing news footage from other broadcasters like CTV or Global or even the defunct Sun News Network. Well, they actually don't have anything blocking that. Further down, Guiton wrote, ads containing the footage of other broadcasters. Our ad standards provide no rationale for rejecting ads containing the footage of other broadcasters. If an ad contains news footage of another broadcaster, it would be impossible for CBC Radio Canada to reject that ad on the basis of implying endorsement on the part of the corporation. No one thinks that if you see news footage in a political ad that that person, that news organization, is endorsing the party running the ad. The news footage is normally being used because the politician has said something stupid. And quite often it hasn't actually gotten around. That's why the political parties want to use this. There was no need to clarify the law. The Conservatives maybe went over bounds in doing that. But the only reason there was no need to clarify the law is because the law was clear. But McGuire and the other news heads didn't care for the law. They didn't care about the law at all. They cared about making sure that their favorite candidate was protected, and that's Justin Trudeau. Remember that when the voting comes around and the news coverage swirls this fall.